GMS provides several different options to create 3D grids for use with ModFlow models. The quickest way to create a 3D grid is to right click and select the new 3D grid command. This opens the Create Finite Difference Grid dialog. You can specify the origin, length, and number of cells in the X, Y, and Z directions. You can also specify a rotation about the Z axis. A more powerful way to create a grid is with the help of a conceptual model. To demonstrate that, I'll delete this grid and create a new ModFlow conceptual model. I'll create a new coverage under my conceptual model and create an arc representing the boundary of my model. Now I'll build the polygon. Now I'll click the Map to 3D Grid button. This opens the Create Finite Difference Grid dialog again. The origin and lengths are set from the polygon, but I have the option to change them if I want. We want to refine the grid around the wells, so we'll turn on the Refine Points attribute for the coverage. We go to the Coverage Setup dialog and turn on Refine Points. Now let's add some points to the conceptual model. These could represent wells, for example. I select the points, bring up the attribute table, and turn on the refine attribute. I'll change the base cell size to 100 feet, the bias to 1.2, and the maximum cell size to 500 feet. I click the Map to 3D Grid button. This opens the Create Finite Difference Grid dialog again. Now the number of cells is not available because it will be determined from the refinement properties, except in the Z dimension. The resulting grid is refined nicely around my wells. For even more control, I can add a grid frame to the conceptual model. I can rotate the grid frame, move and resize it so it fits my model domain. Now when I press the Map to 3D Grid button and bring up the Create Finite Difference Grid dialog, I see the rotation angle is not zero. The resulting grid is a rotated grid that is refined around my wells.